What's up everybody, Matt Nuzzo. Hanging out with my not so little friend here. Seven meter glide. That thing is a freaking beast. So glide seven meter, want to do a quick video on it. Um, new size by Ocean Rodeo. Uh, it is the full Lula glide. Uh, five pounds with the, uh, you know, five pounds weight, which for a seven meter is incredibly light. You can see it's got a super fat wing tip on it. Really stiff. I mean, the strut, you got to pump up to 12. Uh, leading edge eight and this this material is incredibly stiff which really makes a huge difference when you're you're out there riding and just have that rigidity just like most seven meter wings big wings they are underpowered and then they're overpowered very quickly so most of the time it's a pretty small window when you can actually use these things i'm actually probably going to be too lit on this thing already by the time you pump it up oftentimes it's either out of your wind range so I uh, use this a uh, couple times in the kind of five, no breeze, no going, schlogging, can't get going, wait for the puff, that's 10, can maybe get going, 12, boom, you're going. So it's, and then like once you're on foil, you're overpowered, right? So like it really this is, you're not going to get on foil on this thing in five, you will get on foil in eight to 10, you know, by 15, you're going to be completely maxed on this wing. And it just feels like you're just dragging and carrying way more drag than you actually need to, to have. So um, seven meter is great for big riders that want to have lots of power. They've chopped the wing tip a lot. So it a little, it's kind of the similar size wingspan as the six. Like when I ride the six, I catch the wing tip just as much as when I ride the seven. Just six is faster through the wind window. Doesn't have that kind of big fat leading edge and just kind of generally easier to, uh, easier to handle. Seven um, does get you going lighter. I had a, a session the other night where I was like, couldn't get going on the six meter i got going a few times but then it would just really lull out took out the seven i was consistently going until there just was no more breeze so uh yeah i'll take the seven out do a little on water ride get a little footage and uh that's it seven meter lewis got them in stock give us a call at the shop does the glide stand its handles so far so good but it's not really the best wing for staying on its handles when you flip it I'm in some really, really light breeze, but these things definitely do. See how much curves in the leading edge? There's tons of curve. So they definitely flop over pretty easily onto their back. Uh, they are, because that big wide wing tip, the seven meter is actually fairly easy to, uh, to, to ride, but it does kind of flip onto its back pretty easily, particularly the smaller sizes. So what I do is I just, yeah, see it wants to go right now. I just sheet in on the leash. So when I'm getting up, you get ready? Sheet on the leash. That helps. There we go. And now all the time. Ooh, Sharky, Sharky. Hello, Artie. Sharky. Turtle. Hey, turtle. Hi, turtle. Phew. Sharky and a turtle, first cat. Good one. Two Sharkies and a turtle. That's what you get for soiling at two point. This is a big wing to loft, but it does. Part of the problem with using a seven meter is that I just, I'm out here at Cape Point, just took a, took a turn, I just no breeze left. So I'm just floating out here, dealing with the current. I don't freaking have to paddle through a wind line or try and find a puff and get going. So back to the knees, back to schlogging. It's good and powered. You know, these seven meters, it doesn't go up wind that great, but it's so light and I'm out winging. So I might have to paddle in from here. So it's not that far. It's farther than I want to paddle, but hopefully I'll get a little puff and get going again. Oh no. See? Flippy dippy. Doesn't take much to flip these things over. Oh, 
seven meter conditions are a lot of work. So at 170 pounds, that's how far you sink on a 60 liter board when there's absolutely no breeze. So let's just do an overview while we're on the water here waiting for the next puff. Seven meter ocean rodeo. Glide Alula, incredibly light. Works really well for these type of conditions. But winging in these type of di conditions are for the direct, desperate few of us that there are out there. I'm still desperate. I love taking sessions, even if it's a donkey session like this one where get a few rides, get a few glides, call it a day. Hope you don't get stuck outside. And that's really what I'm doing, just trying not to get stuck outside. So let's see if I get back up wind. If not, walk of shame for me. All right, here we go. Let's give it another go. on the Alula glide, look, there it goes, wants to go, on the seven, seven meter glide. The thing with riding big wings like this is you just don't know if you're going to make it back. I'm a frother, I love to take sessions, you just don't know if you're going to be paddling in, swimming in. My first tack, I was like, oh, it's really light out here, almost missed the turn, and then I boffed it, then I missed a couple other turns, and you know, it was like, at the time, like, okay, I'm going to have to swim in, so if you're going to take out a big wing like this, just relegate yourself to understanding that you're probably going to swim in. I was lucky to make it back. I just stayed heel side, toe side and kind of tacked it back so just so I could uh, e more easily make the turns. But this glide is awesome. The 7 meter works well, flips over pretty easily. It doesn't have a ton of low end. Like I've ridden some other wings that have much more kind of low end grunt to get it going in the size. But when you're riding, it just feels so light and nice and maneuverable for a 7 meter. You know, I mean, if you're a session profit or like I am and a lot of the people at our shop are, then, then get out there, get the big gear, get going. Uh, if you got more questions, want more reviews, figure out what gear's right for you, give us a call at shop 252-987-6000, reach out online, realwatersports.com. See you guys for the next session.